the Waikato Rapids franchise and the crowd here is on their feet as the red flags of Waikato are raised as the players start through on their handshakes Todd. And it looks like we've got Chris Sinclair and Ben Norman taking charge of this match. Sorry, Anthony Riley and Ben Norman in charge of this match with Chris Sinclair and Dylan Moore helping them out from the sidelines. And the pre-match administration getting underway and soon we'll get the coin toss for you and the starting five for each side mark. Well, I can't tell you until they've broken up from their team huddles. I can only predict it. But as that FIFA song still rings out, the tingle runs down my spine. Looks like the Bay of Plenty boys have uh, popped on some red shirts over there on the far side in support of their Waikato neighbours. As they go back to the classic Y-bop that we know and love in the futsal scene or football scene. As they're not afraid to show who they're supporting here. And arguably the Canterbury United boys also have their red tops on as well. So maybe they're backing Waikato looks rather like than their southern neighbours. Capital also sporting the red top. It looks like a warm-up top for Capital. Well, there you go. At least I have some uh, people sitting alongside me supporting the Rapids, Todd. I know that you're backing, but we can give you the starting lineup now for Southern United. Sanam and goal. Hawkins, O'Farrell, Hulliman and Peterson make up the five for Southern United. And it looks like it'll be... Marquez, Martin, Morgan, and is it Aaron Scott? No, it's going to be Tobias. Aaron Scott just giving a couple of high fives to his players. And it will be Patrick Steele in goal as Coach Sam Matheson stands on the court. As we look to get this underway in the capital city. Could this be Waikato's first victory? As Southern get us underway. Hawkins now. Drops it back to Hulliman and Tobias comes forward nice on him. Wins the possession of the ball. Can he keep it a man in the free? It's Morgan. Throw on goal. One on one. Shoot. Scores. There it is. First goal of the final. And it's the number 16 for Waikato Rapids that gets it done, Todd. And the Rapids taking an early lead here in the final of the Men's Futsal Super League 2019. And Morgan. This for you now. Hulliman pressured by Tobias and he manages to win the ball off Hulliman and threads the needle nicely to Morgan who makes no mistake there and hits the back of the net making it 1-0. Shooting distance I'm sure. We've seen uh, Wisniewski hit some from distance today. He's got a cracker in the semi-final. I we'll hope to see that again today. As Ditfit steps up, shoots, it's down low, and Sanam has saved it, but it's a goal. He hasn't caught hold of it, and he's disappointed in himself as he couldn't keep hold of it. And I think it was Wisniewski at the front post there that it tapped that one in. It sure was, Mark, and we're just talking about Wisniewski, and he's already picked a goal up in this Southern match. Give him away a foul. Wisniewski to Ditford as the Rapids restart now. Wisniewski to his brother, Kyle Wisniewski. No options, plays it back to his brother, Logan Wisniewski. And Wisniewski is doing well there. Ditford in a bit of space out wide. Can he get a shot away? Rolls it back to Kyle Wisniewski. And he sprays it wide, does Kyle. And here's a replay of that goal a few moments ago. Ditford. It's a shot away and Chris Sanham parries it onto the post and Kyle Wisniewski is there to pick up the scraps, making it two goal as he launches long to Bautista coming forward with it now. Can he shoot? He does. Great save from Steele. Diving to his left and pushes that one away out for a corner. Southern United. Bautista goes long to Brazier. Takes a big touch. Can he get the shot away? He does. Great save though. He got big dead Patrick Steele. And blocks the shot there, Abrazier. He had to try and get it around him, but he couldn't. Great take, though, on the chest from the big man up top. On the line to Martin. So Sharplet does so, but Clark can't keep it under his feet. And Brazier comes forward with it now. Chance for Southern United. It's open, Hawkins. Shoot, save from Steele. As Ditford comes sliding in. 
And I heard that from over here, but that was just skin on the uh, court, Todd. That one would have stung for Dipford, and uh, he's rubbing Done his thigh. He drops now. it off to Rob. Just being patient here, uh, the Rapids. Trying to find that opening as now it comes through for Marquez. He drops it off again. No, he's pushed it back. It's Martin now on the ball. Goes long to Morgan, who does want to bring that one down again. He plays it forward. It's Rob now. Can he shoot? He does. And it's a save from Sandham. Marquez the head. What a finish there for Marquez. Coming through. He heads that one home. Talk us through that one, Todd. And Marquez picks up the third goal for the Rapids. Taking them 3-1 up over Southern United. And it's a well-worked goal there from the Rapids. Jacob Rob. Shot blocked there from Sanum and Marquez there looming and putting the ball to the back of the net with his head. And Hawkers oh, well now worked. Ball. Rob getting himself into a bit of space. Managed to get a shot away and good save there from Sanum. But Marquez is there and he puts it away for the Rapids. Making it 3-1 with a minute. Four. Carlos Herman certainly an experienced campaigner. One of the highest capped players in the national rebranded Futsal Super League, as well as the top goal scorer of all time, Carlos Herman. And you'd back him to shoot from here, wouldn't you? He steps over and gives it to Kuma, who, jeez, the way Tobias just took that shot as Marquez now comes away, gets a shot and it's in. His second goal of the game is Chris Sanum. What a bit flat-footed there. And did you see the way Tobias just took that on the thigh? Didn't even move, Todd. Not phase was Tobias, and Enrique Marquez picks up his second goal of the match and the Rapids go 4-2 in the lead here and blocked away by the Rapids defense and here's that goal Marquez finding some room to get a shot away and he picks his spot and gets it past Chris Sanum and he makes it 4-2 look at that line eh I was just thinking you know I'd hit top left corner here if like it was me on the ball take a shot he, he does. does exactly that goes low but still equal to it Drops to Hawkins, who finds Pedersen down the line to O'Farrell, who toes, great save from the keeper, push back and it's Rob. Who a few messages coming through, Matt Vijos watching all the way from the UK, the cure to him as O'Farrell has a shot saved. Have a famous victory here as Sanham goes long and falls over and that's Really gives it there as the Rapids secure their first Super League title. And Southern United for the second year in a row are beaten finalists, Todd. Falling at the final hurdle and you can see how much it means for the Rapids players and coaching staff. A famous victory for the Waikato Rapids as they take out the 2019 Men's Futsal Super League. And... We're going to jump out in the middle for a few interviews, which uh, my fellow commentator Mark Matsis is going to lead as we set up for the prize giving. here with uh, Max Harrison. Mate, what a performance from the Rapids. You must be stoked with that victory. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. Um, all series, you know, we just talked about taking it one game at a time. Uh, we got through every single game just thinking of what we're going to do next and we managed to get to the final. Um, Southern, unbelievable team, you know, they're always there right to the very end, so you never know how it's going to go, but we managed to uh, st stick to our plan and uh, we got the win in the end. Got it done. What was the vibe like after that semi-final? We took a penalty shootout. How do you keep the emotions in check to then come and back it up in the final again? Um, you know, the boys know what, we're, what we've done all season. Just stick to our, stick to our plan and um, process and it'll work. So um, luckily enough, it did in the end and um, yeah, we managed to get the job done. Marquez, what a performance in the final from him. Two goals. Yeah. Big game player he is, isn't he? Yeah, no, nah, definitely. It's good to have a man like Fiddy in the team. You know, he's got loads of experience. His footwork's unbelievable and like, pops off when you need him the most. So yeah. It's always great to have Fiddy in our team. Hey, mate, go enjoy it. Celebrations with your team. Cheers.
Well, thank you very much for joining us here this weekend. We will have the prize giving up next, but from myself, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you all next year. The country and this individual, only 19 years old, had a great performance across the whole season, as well as the final series in Wellington. And the Golden Glove 2019 award goes to the Waikato Rapids, Patrick Steele. Certainly a lot of talent showcased out on the court and this was a hefty debate amongst a few people. This individual certainly led from the front, defensively picking up assists and also goals himself. The MVP award for 2019 goes to the Waikato Rapids player, Ethan Martin. And to the winners of the 2019 Men's Futsal Super League, finishing top of the table, winning their semi-final against Capital this morning, and then doing the job again in the final against Southern United. Before I present the trophy, I'd like to invite the White Waikato Rapids up to grab their medals, and then we'll announce you guys as the winners. Please come up. Coach, good job, mate. Well done, congratulations. Well done, congratulations. And if you could please join me in congratulating the 2009 Men's Futsal Super League Champions, the Waikato Rapids! And that brings the Men's Futsal Super League to a close for 2019. I'd like to thank you to all those involved this season. And that pretty much wraps up the futsal calendar for New Zealand football. Um, however, we do have Auckland competing in the OSC Champions League from the 5th to 8th of December in Auckland. Respective regions and look forward to seeing you again in 2020.